Hello everybody, uh, it's Freya back again doing my second hair tutorial and um, this time it's just this really quick easy uh, 60s beehive style as you can see with a few flowers um, I hope you guys like it um, it requires no heat whatsoever that's probably why I love it so much I can get it done really quick in time for work so um, I've had a few people asking how I do it so I thought I'd share it with you guys so I hope you enjoy it so the brushes that you'll need for this tutorial is a smoothing brush here, a rat tail comb, they're really good for back combing, and you'll need bobby pins, and I only actually have to use a few, but use as many as you need, and obviously some hairspray. So first thing I do then is to brush my hair through, um, bearing in mind that I don't have any extensions in here because I usually do a lot with extensions, but this is just all my natural hair. Um, so I just part it to the side, um, brush it through and then I pick where I want to start back combing from. So I generally do it about half an inch, um, obviously a bit more forward it would look a bit strange um, and back there wouldn't be much hair to back comb and give you that big nice beehive that you want. So I start by taking small sections just near to where my part is, just to start, um, and just back comb them with a nice strong um, back comb. And I do that for like the crown of my head, so where you want the beehive to start, I give it that nice base to start and brush back for. So I do that in about four different sections. You don't want to take the back comb too close to your ears because it would look a bit strange. You want the side of the beehive to be smooth. You want the top to be nice and full and you want the sides to be smooth. It would look a bit weird if you took it all the way down because then your hive would be sticking out and you'd look like you'd have a giant afro and that's not really the aim of this style in particular. So as you can see I'm taking the back comb sections and they are stopping just above my ears and then I am making sure that big section that I've just done is all formed together because otherwise you'll have these big separate back combed clumps so you want to be able to keep smoothing them over and you know just making it look presentable because that's going to be the part of the beehive that's mainly going to be on show. Once I've done that first row of back combing, I then start to take sections behind that row. Uh, back combing just like you did at the front, uh, the same width of hair per se, um, and just taking it back. I probably do about three to four rows worth back as you will be able to see now. Okay, so once you've got this incredible mess of hair on your head um, and you feel that that's enough to give you enough volume as you're after, um, I then would give it a quick spray, just like I have, and then start to, again, smooth it over um, just the top layer. You really don't want to brush too hard because it will just get rid of all that, that combing you've just done and it's essential for this style. I then start to shape with my hands um, the general shape of the beehive I want to have. Um, you know, if, if your back comb needs a little bit more uh, back combing, then just do it at the root of that section and just shape it. You know, the hairspray will help to hold that shape for you and you can really just use your hands to mould it. Use a brush to smooth and you will eventually gain that shape. So as you can see now I've got my general shape that I'd like, it's a nice rounded shape and the next part of the style is to start pinning it up and actually getting your beehive. So what I do is I start on either side, it doesn't really matter, but I take one bobby pin and I smooth it back with my hand so the front of your hair and I place a bobby pin in just anchoring that in and what I do is I then take a second and just 
pop it in across the other one so that's a really strong hold for that and then I repeat that process on the other side. So just exactly the same, I take my two bobby pins for the other side and anchor that down and now you can see the back, it looks a bit messy, but we will sort it, don't you worry. So then I take what's left of my hair hanging down and you can do whatever you want, especially if your hair is a bit longer than mine and you're incredibly lucky. Um, but as you can see, I do a simple twist and it seems to look quite nice, you know, and it finishes off the style quite well. Uh, so I twist my hair very tightly and then just slide a few bobby pins into that um, and it hides the bobby pins, it anchors that twist to my head and it doesn't look too shabby. So here is just a quick view of the back, I mean it's not the neatest thing in the world but this is my five minute beehive that I do before work so I am not too bothered. It looks okay, so then I start to just, you know, play with the front of my hair and see how I want it. So I usually take a more middle part in um, when I do these 60 styles. I just think it looks nice with it and suits it quite well. Um, so, well, there I am struggling with my ridiculous baby hairs that I get, which are just super annoying. Anyway, I take a middle part in, more to the middle than to the side anyway. And, and then I just kind of play with it. Um, people have told me that this style makes me look like um, Joan from Mad Men, which I think is just really far too kind. But you can see the inspiration that I draw from that. To give my fringe a little bit of uh, texture, I also sometimes just back comb it at the roots, which just gives it a little more hold to what I want to do with it. So I'll give it a quick back comb. And that way it tends to keep its shape for longer. Um, I've also got some uh, texture powder, um, I believe it's Charles Worthington texture powder, which is really good and my hair was clean when doing this, freshly washed, so this really helps to add a bit of grip to it. So when your hair's all pinned up and you're liking the look of how it's going, um, I tend to just then just you know do a bit of a reshape. So I might just pin, as you can see, just pin a little bit of my fringe back, um, just to smooth the seam of it, um, just so it's covered that little bit where you can see where the back comb starts. And I think that looks quite neat. So I'll do that, and I'll just faff around with it and pull some strands down sometimes, I like it, it looks a little bit casual, especially if I'm going to work. If I was going to a more formal event, I'd leave it all tucked up, because I think that looks quite push. Um, but for this casual everyday style, I do like to pull some strands down. If you like you can add some accessories to your hair so these are a bunch of hair flowers that i got dream on dixie and pin up curl um, check them out and also you can add a nylon scarf which could give quite a 60s feel well yeah you know um <laughs> so how i do that is i take the scarf i fold it in half so it's like a big triangle and then i just keep folding it so it becomes a really long kind of strip and then you can do it, it will look kind of like a headband as you can see, which is quite 60s -y. And you can tie it back to a nice little bow, or you can do it to the front with the bow showing. Either way, it looks really cute. So 
there you have it guys it's really quick simple and i hope you guys liked it and if you give it a try then let me know thank you